guys, I'm back, and once again, I bring you another one of my favorite, another favorite video game character, he is my, one of my, he's my number one favorite character in the Darkstalkers franchise, Mr. John Talbain, or, 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 or Gallon, if, if you're in, in Japan, uh, the werewolf, I, I love John a lot, and unlike other werewolves that are he he still kind of pertains his humanness when he's in his wolf form uh which is pretty cool i definitely definitely see um influences of bruce lee in in uh john most definitely you you can definitely see that he's been influenced Capcom influenced a little bit of Bruce Lee in him. Now, for all those that don't know his story about, you know, he's kind of been cursed with this, and that goes back to his bloodline from the uh, the Malki, uh, where the Dark Suckers usually live. Um, his family is was one of the most powerful noble families in that realm, and they were known as the Crooks. Crooks, I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's really what, pretty much where he gets his kind of lycanthropy legacy from. But also because of the fact that, yeah, his mother was human and his father was, was a werewolf. I don't know how that happened, but uh, he pretty much his mom died and he pretty much grew up by himself alone. His his father was nowhere to be found, and of course when the moon was full he became a werewolf and like i said he still pertained his humanness his human side so he was fully aware he was transformed into a, a wolf unlike most typical werewolves like when they transform they're pretty much not really in control the beast takes over uh but he didn't hold any kind of grudge against his parents like he kind of seen it as not as a, a curse, but like, like it's just like you know, fate dropped this on me. Uh, and that's pretty much from reading the comics when Idos, when uh, uh, Udon was doing the Darkstalker comics, they really explored his his origin and family legacy, as well as you played all the games as well. Uh, you know. Throughout time, he he trained himself really. Folk, he really focused and trained his body, as well as his mind, into really, I guess you can say, maintaining, you know, his humanness and not letting that beast, the wolf, take over him. Uh, so you know, he would he would really train himself. He don't he he devoted himself to fighting taking himself past his limits, you know, over and over, you know, just trying to find no limit, no limits to what he can do. And over time, throughout the games, John has, uh, in one, one um, game, especially in one ending, he was, he regained the curse of the the wolf was lifted and he was he was just human after pyron was defeated uh but uh then later on he was turned back into a werewolf again basically it was showing that it was impossible to cure you know cure this 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 bloodline legacy basically um, but, you know, John is just a really cool character over and over, you know, when I play Darkstalkers, when I played Darkstalkers the first time, he was the first one to intrigue me, because here we are, here you are, you got a wolf, a werewolf that is fast, strong, and, and just an all-around cool design, I mean, he does, he looks like your typical werewolf, but not in a way because you know 
it, it's, it's hard to kind of explain in the words, but if you 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 get what I'm talking about, it's just he's just got a really cool design, and his stage was always cool. You know, you see you're, you're fighting in London, and you see other wolves running around London, and pretty much that's where he was born. And uh, John John just he just is just a cool character to me. Um, his story is so great. If you really sit down and if you ever, if anybody's get, ever get the chance to collect the trades of the, the Darkstalker Udon comics, collect them. They were really good. Uh, they really explained some of the characters in that. The only, the sad thing about a lot of the other Darkstalker characters, like Mr. Talban right here, is the fact that he has not made any kind of appearances in any of the crossover fighting games and that's sad uh to me and there are games that i figured that he was perfect for and in my opinion he was perfect for marvel's capcom 3 and but they went with of course the succubus morgan and the Catwoman felicia and they added the ghost henzunko into it uh but John would have been perfect, and I love John. He's my favorite. One of my, he's my top favorite Dark Circle character. You don't believe me? I got a list, and I, my top ten Dark Circle characters. Even though they're only like nineteen characters in total, hopefully Capcom will bring back a new game because they talk about it all the time. That if the successor Street Fighter uh, is any kind of consolation of bringing back Dark Stalkers, then yeah, they'll do it. But what do you guys think of John? Uh, do you like him? Uh, how do you feel about his story? You know, is he your favorite character like me? Or is there someone else? Uh, I, I also throw this out. If, would you, if you found out that you were like him, would you do what he did and pretty much stayed away from, you know, society to be on the safe side, you know, like he did, trained himself to re and and things like that, or or would you just really let the beast take over, which John didn't let, uh, or would you find a way to coexist, keep your 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 legacy, your bloodline curse, as they call it, on par with your human self. But uh, that's all I got for this week, guys, for uh, characters and why I like them. Thanks for listening, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Mr. John Talbin, people, and you guys take it easy.